Okay, well, working on this one, I had to uh, had to uh, turn to an old friend for help. Uh, I don't know if you can see this very well or not, but everything is very, very close together on this radio. It's kind of cram-packed into a small location, and on some of these export radios, they get kind of crazy with their board stamping. And a lot of times, it's so close together, a lot of them overrun, and you can't really read what part is what. You know, as in I'm looking for TR-18, which in this radio is going to be a Q letter. It's going to be like a Q-17. And then it's going to be like a uh, D-1, D-2, D-34, and D-35. Well, you know, in order to find it, I'm going to have to go to, like I said, an old friend for help, which is uh, cbtricks.com, which this is the exact same board that a 2950 RCI uses. They don't have the schematics for an Eagle 5000 on here because it was kind of an oddball radio, but uh, due to past experience and board replacement in one of these radios, I know that it's the exact same board as the, if you can see it here, it's an EPT 2950-13Z board, which is exactly what this board is. And on this diagram, it will give me a little better idea of where these parts are at and how to find them makes it a little bit easier, uh, just kind of a little tip or whatever for somebody that uh, doesn't know that it's out there, and be sure to support these guys, I mean, send them a little money, five, ten dollars, hell, every little bit helps keep the side up, and it helps for all of us out here, so we'll be back.